Last year, the iPhone XS cost $250 more than the iPhone XR, and for a lot of people, the extra features just didn't justify the price difference. This year, the iPhone 11 is actually 50 bucks cheaper than the XR was. It starts at $699. The iPhone 11 Pro costs the same as the XS, starting at $999. So now, there's a $300 price difference. Is it worth it? Well, to answer that, we need to know what you get for all that money. What exactly are the differences between the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro? Let's break it down. First, let's go over the things that are the same between the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro. They both have the new A13 Bionic processor, both start at 64 gigabytes of storage, and they have the same major wireless features, Bluetooth 5, Wi-Fi 6, ultra wideband, and NFC. Last year, the iPhone XR didn't have 3D Touch and the iPhone XS did, but this year, none of the new iPhones have 3D Touch. So that's the same. When it comes to cameras, they have the same improved front-facing True Depth module. So you can use Face ID at a wider angle and take 12 megapixel selfies with a wider field of view and even 4K video and slow motion selfie videos. Apple wants to call them slow fees. On the back, both phones have a 12 megapixel f1.8 wide angle camera and a new 12 megapixel f2.4 ultra wide angle camera with a 120 degree field of view. But the iPhone 11 Pro has a third camera on the back, a 12 megapixel f2.0 telephoto lens that lets in 40% more light than the telephoto lens on the iPhone XS. Another big difference is the available sizes and colors. The iPhone 11 comes in one size with a 6.1 inch display, and it comes in six colors, black, green, yellow, purple, white, and product red, which is available right from day one for a change. The iPhone 11 Pro comes in two sizes, a smaller one at 5.8 inches and the iPhone 11 Pro Max at 6.5 inches. It comes in four colors, gold, space gray, silver, and midnight green. Besides that third telephoto camera and the sizes, the display is probably the most obvious difference between the two. The iPhone 11 has an LCD that's essentially the same as the one on last year's iPhone XR. The resolution is 326 pixels per inch and it has a 1400 to 1 contrast ratio and a max brightness of 625 nits. The iPhone 11 Pro has an OLED display that supports high dynamic range. Its resolution is higher, 458 pixels per inch just like last year's iPhone XS. But it has an improved contrast ratio of 2 million to 1 and a max brightness of 800 nits that cranks all the way up to 1200 nits with HDR content. There are also a bunch of relatively small differences between the 11 and 11 Pro. The 11 has a cellular radio with 2x2 MIMO, while the 11 Pro has 4x4 MIMO, so you might get a little bit better connection with the Pro. The 11 Pro has slightly better waterproofing. It can go up to 30 minutes at a depth of four meters, while the 11 can do 30 minutes at a depth of two meters. The 11 Pro comes with an 18 watt USB-C power adapter in the box, finally. The iPhone 11 will work with that charger if you buy it separately, but in the box, you'll get that same old sad five watt power adapter. Come on, Apple, it's still a $700 phone. Both models have a longer battery life than last year's iPhones. The iPhone 11 should last about an hour longer than the iPhone XR, but the iPhone 11 Pro will go about an hour more than that, and the 11 Pro Max, the big one, an additional hour or so. And although the 11 and the 11 Pro both start at 64 gigs of storage, the 11 has upgrades for 128 or 256 gigabytes, while the 11 Pro has upgrades for 256 or 512 gigabytes. Most of those details won't make much of a difference in your day-to-day -day use. The 11 and 11 Pro have the same major performance characteristics and features. What you're really paying so much more for is that OLED HDR display, telephoto rear camera, and different size, color, and storage options. Just as the iPhone XR was a lot more popular than the XS, I expect the iPhone 11 will be a lot more popular than the iPhone 11 Pro. Those differences are nice, but for most people, not worth the $300 to $400 difference in price.